and continue on the learn CSS box model by building a Rothko painting. And for now we've got our canvas and our frame as well. Um, but we can see here now step 13, the frame is much too wide. So let's just set its width to 500 pixels. And let's check that code. Cool. So step 14, now we want to adjust the spacing within the element by using padding. So in frame, use the padding shorthand property. Um, to increase the space um, between the frame and the canvas elements by 50 pixels. And if I just set 50 pixels, uh, what we can see here is that it's, there we go, actually pull it over. This white space is the padding. So this is the content, here's the padding, here's the, um, the border, and then obviously margins on the outside of that. But the white space here is now the padding. Cool. And um, then also we can use margins to adjust the spacing outside of an element. So if we use the margin property and give it 20 pixels top and bottom and auto left and right, um, we can see here it moves the frame 20, 20 pixels down and horizontally centered on the page. Perfect. So step 16, add a new div element inside your canvas element. So we'll do div and we want to give this the class of one like so. So let's close off that div here and check that. Perfect. Step 17, write a new rule that targets one. So dot one for the class and set its width to 425 pixels. Perfect. Step 18, now set the height for one. So we're within there one. So it would just be height to 150 pixels. There we go. Set the background color of one um, to be this hex code. So let's just see background dash color. And now in setting that, we should be able to see, there we go, there's our, our box. Um, sort of within the sort of the content. Cool. So step 20, use margins to position the one element on the canvas. So we're going to do margin, and again, we're giving the shorthand property of 20 pixels top and bottom, auto left and right. Um, and that will bring it sort of center. There you go. So there's equal space left and right um, of where it is. So one is centered horizontally, but its margin top is pushing past the canvas and onto the frame's border. So I'm um, shifting the entire canvas down 20 pixels. So we just want to add a padding of one pixel to the canvas. So we're in the canvas class, one pixel. Um, and then you can see that gives the, the one element, so this one, to push off something solid, um, sort of to push it down. So, and sorry, actually, that's, I guess, 20 pixels here. Um, so it's 20 pixels top and bottom and then auto left and right is why it's centered. Cool. Step 22, adding one pixel of padding to the bottom, uh, to the top, bottom, left and right of the canvas, change its dimensions to 502 and 602. So let's replace the padding property with the overflow hidden. And then that sets the, um, the dimensions of the whole box back to how they were, which was 500 and 600. So let's do overflow hidden. There we go. And finally, for this video, add another div with a class value of two. So let's do uh, class equals two. And we'll close off that div here. And this is going to be the second rectangle that we'll be creating. Uh, perfect. Cool. Well, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.